you get in an accident? What? Did you get in an accident? I don't think so. What? What, what, what did you do? Well, I don't know. I went over a bump earlier. That must have been that Silverado. Yeah, I guess I hit a hit a vehicle or something. Oh my goodness. My tailgate just fell off. Oh my. Jeez, Ben. Oh. oh. Okay, that's not good. I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, this is going to be a sad video because this is a video to say goodbye to my taco. Here's the story. November 5th, I was driving, just filled up my truck with gas, of course. Uh, so it's got a full tank of gas. And I wasn't more than two miles away from my house when I was on the highway and I got about into the fast lane. Um, traffic was heavy, but moving, you know, moving. The guy ahead of me, I don't think he was paying attention very much. And he suddenly just hit his brakes at full, full power. And I went for the shoulder. He came into the front corner and at the same exact moment, I got hit by uh, a Silverado behind me at probably, our guess is close to 50 miles an hour. And so I was sandwiched between two cars in a sudden, sudden stop on the highway. And thankfully only three people were involved and everyone was fine, everyone walked away great. I had a little bit of a sore neck for several days and so did my passenger. I don't think it kind of went away and we're all, we're all good, but. So yeah, that's what happened. That was the story. Uh, the damage obviously doesn't look like a ton from some angles, but let me walk you around. You know, this whole thing's kind of destroyed. The hood is damaged, the fender got pushed up into the door here um, everything underneath here is just kind of plastic and this door doesn't open all the way because obviously it hits here so that's about as far and I keep accidentally going like this Boom. and I like I bonk my head on it I, it like sprung back and hit me in the knee coming back the rear impact was obviously the worst the Silverado is a heavy truck and it came right into me at full speed the whole bed got pushed into the bot uh, the cab here so obviously this is kind of a major problem uh, for repairs which is part of the reason why this car this truck got totaled out of this accident um, and then here is obviously the brunt of the main accident uh, where this was the impact that totaled the truck um, obviously the tailgate is just a hazard so that's off and this is where he came in and I'll insert a photo here so you can see the damage to the truck but this pillar here right at the back of the frame this took the brunt um i'm actually pretty impressed with how well this did because that's a big truck and a lot of weight coming into me at a lot of speed um up under here where the leaf spring attaches to the frame that's a little twisted where the frame is and that is another big part of why the truck got totaled in the you know the estimates to repair the truck were I think $29,000 and that's a lot of money. So while well, coming around, obviously this tail light blew out and as the Silverado pu uh, punched into me, it pushed the back end of my truck up against this concrete barrier, which is what this is. I mean, cause I was kind of on an angle on the shoulder when he hit me, it pushed that back end over. And that's where that scrape is. Everything else though fared really well. So we were obviously okay. Uh, the headrests helped prevent a serious incident of whiplash and that um, no airbags went off because it obviously didn't hit any major crumple zones to trigger that to go off. All the glass is okay. Yeah, I mean, from this side, it looks like, hey, that doesn't look total. But when you add up all the estimates for everything, it just was enough to write it off for the insurance and it's done. I end up selling it to someone I know. So that's why I still have possession of it and why it's not a, a salvage yard right now. So it's gonna be here in my possession for just a little bit longer before it gets picked up for some new life, which is probably gonna be some off-roading, overlanding, jacked up truck action. So I'll. I'll keep you in the loop with what happens with the truck. I'm pretty excited to see what he does with it. But as far as I'm concerned, it's it's totaled for me. I can't can't use it. It does come with some extra features now, though. So now that this is uh, this is an adaptive headlight, so obviously you can see it turns 
and everything with the wind. So now, you know, the beam shifts as you drive, which is adaptive. So added feature there. This is a safety door, of course. You know, it doesn't open all the way. That's a safety feature. I mean, this is really a safety feature too. Uh, you know, a deployable tailgate. So now I just have free access into the bed. That's, that's quite nice. That is about it. It's a very sad end to what was a very good truck. And I think I'll prepare for you a little montage of some moments that I've had with the truck, some photos I've taken of it, and some of the, the many photo shoots and adventures and things I've done with it that kind of make this a hard goodbye. It is a great truck and I'm gonna miss it. And Toyota, sponsor me. Um, if you could send me a new one as soon as possible, that'd be great because I've had one on order for like three months and I don't even have a build date yet. So if you could help me out there. That is, uh, that's what I need to happen. I need a new truck to replace this one. Yeah, so I guess this is, this is goodbye for this truck. I'm gonna miss it, I'm gonna miss it. So that's all I've got today. Thanks for watching today's video. I'll get you a higher note on the next one.